In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to make this waved washer. So I'm going to control tab back to my open empty document. And in the top plane, I'm going to create my first sketch. I'll use mouse gesture to activate circle. Click on the origin to start my circle, move out and click to create it. Again, use mouse gestures to activate smart dimension and add the dimension of 0.1. I'm going to push escape and now I want to add a center line. So I'm going to choose center line and from the origin, make a horizontal center line over to this point on the circle and push escape. I'm going to select this center line this time. I'm going to move up and select the drop down arrow below a linear sketch pattern. I'm going to make a circular sketch pattern of it with 12 spaces. So there are 12 equally spaced instances around 360 degrees. I'll say OK. My sketch is fully defined, so I'll right click and exit the sketch. Next, I'll just look isometrically at the part. And now we want to make an offset plane. So I'm going to select the top plane, reference geometry plane, set my distance to 20 thou, it's fully defined, say OK. With the plane selected, I'm going to select sketch, holding control, so they're both selected. And again, we're going to make a derived sketch. So I'm going to say insert, derived sketch, and I have my derived sketch, and we need to fully define them as we recall with relationships. So I'll select the two center points and make them coincident. Then I'll select the point on this sketch and a point on this sketch while holding control and make them coincident. And now I have two fully defined sketches. I'll right click to exit this and next we want to create a curve through reference points. So I'm going to come up to curves, select the drown arrow and select curve through reference points. I'm going to make sure I have close curve enabled and then I just want to work from the bottom to the top, keep going to the next one. If it helps, hold your mouse wheel and rotate around. So I need to choose top here, bottom here. Again, I'll rotate around, top, bottom. I'm just going to keep following this pattern, working my way around. So top, bottom, rotate so I can see it, top, bottom. Again, I want to rotate. I need to go to the top here, and that'll be the last one I select. I'm just going to go back to the isometric view here, because this will close it for me. So I'll say OK closes the curve. At this point, I'm now going to hide these two sketches. And I want to use that curve to create my sweat boss. I'm going to activate sweat boss. I'm going to tell it it's a circular profile, that the diameter of the circle is 3,000, and that the sweep profile is this curve. I'll right click to accept that. Last thing I want to do is come over here and hide the curve. And now I can save my work and continue on from there.